So here we are, it's mid-August now, and it's been about a month uh, since we last talked to you. Um, in the last month, we've made some, some real progress on site. As you can see behind me, the concrete footings are all now complete. And the steel frame itself is, is, is now in place, so we can really start to see the skeleton of the church uh, going up. Where I'm standing now will be the, the apse, the curved, beautifully curved structure that will sit behind the main altar. The altar itself will sit in between these two sizable pieces of steel. And in front of me, the sanctuary widens out. Um, it, its depth's about six meters, but between these two sections of steel here, and either side of those steel works, we have the two sacristies. So I'm now standing in, in the nave, in the center of the nave, where we'll have uh, two lines of pews running down both sides. There's enough room for 14 rows of pews on each side. Um, with, with a central aisle and then two further outer aisles uh, against the outside walls of the church. The recesses that you, you can see in the steelwork on either side will be where our side chapels are sitting. One will be dedicated to Our Lady and the other to St Joseph. And you can get a sense as well from this view, uh, the size of, of the apex of the church. The church from, from finished floor level to its very top highest point will be about 8.5 metres. So I'm now standing at the front door of the church, walking into the church where these two machines are sitting at the moment will be the narthex. So between where I am now and the main body of the church, we'll have glass screening, so you'll still be able to see into the church. And then I'll be now walking through the doors from the, from the narthex into the nave of the church with the choir gallery sitting above me. So here I am back in the apse, this time looking out uh, the back of the church. Uh, hopefully this has given you uh, a good insight and a bit of a tour around the building. Um, between now and, and the next time we talk, hopefully we'll see uh, some of the uh, brickwork, as I said, between going up between the steel columns and uh, some of the external facade uh, getting in place. We may even start to work on uh, the installation of the cornerstone that was blessed uh, earlier this summer. That will be going at the back of the apse, uh, roughly in this location. Until then, uh, all the best and uh, speak to you very soon.